Hi, my name is Graham here at Stellarson's in Ipswich. I'm here today to talk to you about the brand new Sony KD49XF8096. This also comes as a 43 inch and a 55. It's a mid range 4K Ultra HD TV from Sony. Get a lot for your money. We're going to talk about what it does and what you get. But first of all, I need to get this out of the box. So here we have the back of the set. As we go around to the side here, first of all we can see we have the TV button controls, the on off, the volume up and down, this can also be used to change channels and other features. Then we come down to the first leg of the pedestal, we've got a cable mount tucked away in there, and above that we have our power supply for the TV. As we come across to the right we then have our 200 by 200 visa mounting holes, it's one, two, three and four. Next down to the rest of the pedestal stand, again you've got that cable tidy leg in there for your HDMI, your network cable, whatever you want, just keeps it all out of the way, makes it look much neater. Above that our components in and our composite inputs, and then we have our AV1 input there as well, again 3.5mm jack for audio. And our LAN, our network cable connection, so if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi you get a much more stable connection. And then our infrared receiver um, extension as well. So if you have a sound bar in front or in the way. Above that, our optical 5.1 audio output for sound bars and home theatre kits. Our 3.5mm jack audio output for headphones or again sound bars if you want to. Then we have HDMI 1 and HDMI 4. As we come above that, we have our common interface slot. This is for uh, pay-per-view channels on Freeview or on satellite systems. And then on the side here, we have our satellite input. Above that, our aerial input for digital TV and Freeview. Then we have HDMI 3, which is the ARC auto return channel for home theatre kits and soundbars. And then we have the HDMI 2 and then three USB cable. Um, connections as well, one of which you can use for a hard disk drive for recording from the TV. Okay so here is the XF8096 TV, 4K Ultra HD High Dynamic Reality Screen from Sony, it's 4K X Reality Pro image processor, this draws on a massive image database, giving it better contrast, colour and detail. You've got Sony's triluminous display here and 400Hz XR motion flow from Sony as well, giving it a very smooth, flowing, beautiful image. We're going to have a look at a few apps and see what else the TV does as well. Right, so here we go. With the program guide, you can see it's done with UView. That means not only can you go forwards like you normally do, but as you can now see, go backwards for the last seven days as well and access things from BBC, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5 on their catch-up services instead of having to go into the separate apps for each of those broadcasters. It just means it's a little bit more intuitive, a little bit simpler. If you come out of that, you can now go into the apps for the TV. You can see you've got Amazon and Netflix as standard, as you'd expect nowadays. You've then got BBC, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5 just so you can access their box sets and other programs which weren't in the last seven days, or if you want to go back further, you can do. You've then also got more apps from the BBC, so the news channels, you've got Spotify, uh, Disney, and various other things you can download from the app stores, which are here. So you've got the Google Play game stores, app stores, you've also got things like YouTube as well. If we go below that, you can see you've got games, you can download to the TV, and then all the inputs are also listed as um, icons and apps as well, so it makes it very easy find out what you've plugged into it so you can have your Xbox, your DVD, your Blu-ray, whatever else you need. So once again just to cap we've been looking at Sony's mid-range 4K TV the KD49XF8096 this also comes as a 43 and a 55 inch good quality TV you get a lot for your money. Any questions just give us a shout or pop in and uh, we'll endeavour to answer those for you. Once again I've been Graham here at Stellison's. Thank you very much and goodbye.